Okay, so now we are at the oldest McDonald's in the entire world. Good morning, everybody. I'm Ashton Hero. You guys are part of the Hero family now. So welcome. Today, we went to the oldest McDonald's in the entire world world. This was the third McDonald's restaurant and it opened in 1953. But before that we went to a normal McDonald's to see if the food was any different than the oldest McDonald's in the entire world. So right now we are located at a normal McDonald's because I'm curious to see if the food is any different than the oldest McDonald's in the entire world which we're about to get to in the video. I guess let's go try some cheeseburgers. I'm excited let's do it. Do you think it'll be any different? Probably I feel like the third one's just gonna hit different. The oldest one in the entire world that's crazy. That's we're insane. about to touch ground on the oldest McDonald's in the entire world. Okay, so from the outside looking in, this McDonald's obviously just looks like your normal McDonald's. Okay, so we finally made it inside the McDonald's and now we're gonna order. So I'm gonna get a double cheeseburger, ketchup only, a medium fry, and water. What are you gonna get? Maybe chicken nuggets? And I'm gonna get the exact same thing at the oldest McDonald's in the entire world to see if there's a difference in the food. So we just got our food, but before that, I wanna give you guys a tour of a normal McDonald's to compare it to the oldest McDonald's in the entire world. So as we see, kind of basic. It's got some like normal chairs, the posters on the walls. The cool thing about this one is like the graffiti on the walls and stuff and above. Ooh, they have this really fancy desk and it says scan or tap to order so i guess if you tap the table you can have someone assist you so this mcdonald's is actually really cool okay so we're sitting at the really cool table that i mentioned before and the cool thing about this is when you put something down like that it shows up as green and if i place my hand here it shows up a different color that is so cool okay this has to be one of the coolest newest mcdonald's ever and now i'm trying my double double and isabel's gonna try her quarter pounder so let's see Really good. Okay, now let's try some fries. Mmm, really good. She'll dissect her food to see if there's any like... Specs of dust. Yeah, interesting. I'm gonna give it like an 8 out of 10 because the oldest McDonald's in the restaurant could be a 10 out of 10 and I don't want to give this one too much hype yet. So now it's time to see you guys at the oldest McDonald's in the entire world. Okay, so now we are at the oldest McDonald's in the entire world and it is insane. I can't believe I'm on the grounds of something that has been here since 1953. The oldest McDonald's in the world. So now, let's go try my same order, a double-double with ketchup and cheese only, a medium fry and water to see if it's any different than the one from before. This is inside the oldest McDonald's. It is crazy. So they have all these chairs here. It's super old and vintage. And I'm inside almost like an octagon it's really weird over here they have some of the oldest items from the McDonald's all these plates a plaque all these pins and inside it almost looks like they have workers they even have more artifacts over here as you guys can see it is actually insane all of these they have beanie babies as those were a huge hit back then and they have a McDonald's skateboard okay and now we're gonna go inside these doors and it says these are the original doors from the first hamburger University which was located in El Grove, Illinois. So let's check it out. Oh, whoa. This is literally insane. It's a whole museum inside of the McDonald's. So you guys have the multi mixer that they used to make milkshakes and even the oldest cups in the world. And then they have all the artifacts, the magazines, they have a TV going, and they even have their original prices from 1953. 15 cents for a hamburger and I paid $8 for mine. And if we keep looking, it shows the history of McDonald's, which is insane even more artifacts over here and this is literally a museum so this is what they used to put the burgers in this is actually insane they have even more artifacts over here so they have a, a cash register that's what a cash register used to look like this part is one of the coolest parts ever they have all of the original cups from McDonald's that is insane so that was the original cup McDonald's and it's all right here the original artifacts of 1953. This is actually insane. What do you think, Isabella? This is so cool. Isn't it insane? Yeah. It's, so it's wild. Like old trays and everything. Yeah, the old trays and the cups are the coolest things. They need to be merch. Now here's the double double, and I'm gonna see if it's any different than the one earlier at the newest McDonald's. Okay, so they honestly taste almost exactly the same. However, this one I have to say is a little bit better. The flavor in the melted cheese is so much better. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. Now, let's try the wonderful fries. And the fries are better. Okay, so now we're gonna go finish up our food and give one last <laughs> tour of the place. So I somehow missed that there's this iconic 
Ronald McDonald's. I don't know how I missed it, but I guess I did. But this is so cool. Okay, that is insane. That this is the original Ronald McDonald. That's so cool. And now I think I'm gonna go outside because I really want to touch the Golden Arch. <laughs> That's so weird. Just to make myself feel better, I'm gonna touch the huge, massive sign just to be able to say that I touched it. I just touched the oldest McDonald's in the world. I feel so cool. But that is the end of the video, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Peace. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a germaphobe.